Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It's currently Friday night and I've got the cases from the RM250. I've just given them a thorough clean out to get all that grit from vapor blasting. So I'm about to go and put them in the oven. So I've got the case out of the oven now and I've just got with the main bearing that's been in the freezer and I've got this compressed air so when you turn that upside down it comes out like dry ice and it should just slip straight in like so so just going to do the same for the transmission bearings as well. So as you guys would have seen in the engine teardown video that on the main bearings they have these retainers and they weren't in there when I split the motor so I've had to go and source new ones of them. So I'm just going to put a bit of Loctite 243 medium strength on it and then tighten them with the impact screwdriver just to, to ensure they don't come out. Okay, so we have all the transmission and main bearings in the cases now, as well as the retainers. We just got the right hand center case on the stand now, so it'll be easier to slide the transmission, shift drum, forks and crankshaft in. So I have the socket that fits pretty snug inside the race of the main bearing. So I'm just going to heat it up with the blowtorch. And then, yeah, it'll try and transfer some of the heat from the socket into the inside race. And then the crank will slide in a bit easier. Frozen crank, it should just slide through now, like so. Here we have all the transmission parts that go in this section of the case. So we have our two transmission shafts and gears, shift drum, and our forks and fork dowels. The best way to get these transmission shafts in is to line them up like they'd be sitting in the bike and then slide the two together at the same time with 
we're going to slide the shift forks into the slots on the transmission gears. You may have to lift up on the gears to get them in. And then they align with the where the shift fork dowels sit. Next is the shift drum. You want the dowel part facing downwards. And then the dowels on the end of the shift fork slide into the slots in the shift drum. And then the dowel slide through the middle. And same for the other side as well. And then the dowel through the middle. How the whole transmission and shifting system works is your shift drum twists when you shift on the shift lever and as you can see it's moving the shift forks up on the sp on the splines so if we go all the way to the bottom and then up half a click like you would for neutral I'm holding it from the other side and spinning this shaft and as you can see I can spin them so that's neutral I brought a full gasket and seal kit for the RM250 so it replaces all your gaskets, o-rings and seals so you need to find the centre gasket that goes in between the two case halves. Here's the dowels that align the two case halves so they're prone to seizing inside the case half so I've got some copper coat grease and just going to want to smear this on the dowels. And the same for the other one. Line it up with the dowels. And then with the can of compressed air, just freeze the top of the crank. Make sure the gasket's sitting flush with the gasket surface. And then line your crank and output shafts up and slide the top case over the top here's the parts that make up the crankshaft installer tool so it's also used for sandwiching the case halves together first off you want to grab the nut that goes on the bottom And then this other nut that screws onto the end of the crank. And then this threaded rod. And that threads together with the bottom nut. Then you've got the top cone part that slides over the top of the rod and lines up with the dowel then you've got these two pieces of bar and you want them running lengthways with the motor a 
and then the nut that goes on top. Then with a adjustable spinner, just tighten the nut and it'll press the two halves together. have the freshly zinced hardware that we're going to bolt the engine cases together now with. Hardware looks like literally brand new. Now we have all the sender casing bolts tightened. I'm going to cut the excess gasket material flush with the gasket surface. So I'm just going to use a standing knife blade. And then that will allow for your cylinder base gasket to go on and create a tight seal. So it's getting pretty late tonight, but we made good progress on the 250 motor. Everything spins nice and freely. So we'll be back in the morning and finish it off.